Hello and welcome to another video and today as you can see we're on F1 2014 once again for the newly released 1995 mod so uh, it's made by Alex Anderson so it should be a good mod because all of his that I've tried before have been amazing so definitely definitely going to be a good one so we'll check it out so we've got we're going to go through the teams so we've got Williams Renault and in this one we've got Damon Hill and David Coulthard and then in the Benetton we've got Schumacher, Michael Schumacher and Johnny Herbert in the Ferrari we've got John Alesi and Gerhard Berger in the McLaren we've got Mika Hakkinen and Nigel Mansell then in the, the Jordan we've got Rubens Barrichello and Eddie Irvine and in the Ligier, I think that's how it's pronounced Got Olivier Panis and Agori Suzuki. And in the Nokia, the Tyrrell, the Nokia Tyrrell Yamaha. It's a, it's a combination of companies there. So we've got Mika Salo and Yukio Katayama. And then the Red Bull Sauber. We've got Heinz Howard Frensen and Carl Wendlinger. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. And in the Minardi, we've got Pedro Lamy and L Luca Badoa. Or Badawa, I'm not 100% sure. So again, probably not sure on Lamy either. And then the footwork. We've got Gianni Morbidelli and Takui or Taki Inau. Inu, I'm not 100% sure. That one. Parmalat 44, I've never heard of this team. So we've got Pedro Diniz and Roberto Moreno. And then back to Williams again. So we'll uh, pick a driver. Might as well pick Michael since it was his birthday yesterday. Although it might not have been yesterday when it's coming out. So we've got the AI skill on 95. I was just checking, we didn't want to have it on too low. So the calendar we've got Brazil, Argentina, San Marino, Spain, Monaco, Canada, France, Britain, Germany, Hungary, Belgium, Italy. Portugal, the European Grand Prix, which is at Nürburgring, and oh, actually, speaking of Nürburgring, I f I did get told by a commenter the other day in one of my previous uh, mod videos in in the 90s, I was confused by the Luxembourg Grand Prix, and uh, yeah, apparently they just held it at the Nürburgring because they already had a German Grand Prix and a European Grand Prix, so it had to be the Luxembourg Grand Prix. So, and we got the Asia Pacific Grand Prix, which is at the Thai Circuit. Ida, Ida, apparently, and then we've got the Fuji Television Japanese Grand Prix at Suzuka. So what track? Oh, I kind of want to try this Pacific Grand Prix. I um, have a feeling it's probably going to load Suzuka in, but we will find out. Obviously, you can't, you know, it's not like R Factor or Assetto Corsa, you can't make custom tracks. Well, no one's ever been able to and I don't think anyone ever will would probably you, know, you probably could do it if you'd sat there for a okay it's the Indian Grand Prix. There are loads in so we're getting into the Benetton. We sit down. Obviously it's a minor visual bug there but that's because it's the twenty fourteen animations because obviously the screen is flanking above the car as well. Because obviously it's probably fitted to the Lotus for a guess I think it was the Lotus that this team probably replaces judging by the colours on the menu. So we'll just head straight to the circuit. It's a nice cockpit cam. I like the wheel as well, the uh, blue on the wheel. Definitely looks nice. So we're loading in. Is that David Coulthard on pole? Yes it is. Hill alongside him. Now we're we're fourth. And Herbert is sixth. So let's have a quick cycle through all the cameras. So there's two T cams, an offset T cam, a chase cam, a really far chase cam and a nice cockpit cam so we'll swap to this T cam it's my favourite one so off the line we've got past a Lacey already but someone's playing no in fact a Lacey was overtaking us I think we overtook someone else oh, I've locked up into the first corner oh we nearly hit Coulthard there we're coming back on the circuit here Herbert's got through us now I think it was Hackenham we overtook off the start although I could be wrong going inside of Herbert I just heard some front wing clattering behind a Lacey's gone wide Hill oh it's been a red flag Okay. 
I resume that. First time that sort of happened in one of these mod videos. But uh, yeah, you can tell from the liveries and the whole representation. We got the mob responses and stuff like that. This is a fantastically made mod, so I urge you to go check it out. So Alexander commented uh, on one of my previous videos on his mod, uh, telling me the link to it. I'm glad he did because I've been able to try it out. But around the outside of hill to third position now, so we're going to try and get the other side of a Lacey past the Lacey now, so now we're going to go on the attack of Coulthard so that red flag really helped us, because I made the mistake at the start it's completely nullified, you can see obviously that's where the DRS would be in 2013, but they've got rid of it so we've got this stream off Coulthard, going to the right hand side on the brakes, is Coulthard going to hold it around the outside, in fact he is it's going to be close, he's run a bit wide don't want to bully him off the circuit because it's really easy to bully that he's AR off the circuit. We're taking the lead in our Benetton. I have to say, I really like the livery of the Benetton. Oh, we've gone off the circuit a bit there. Cortos could be all over us again. Oh, and exceeding trail limits once again. So it's a Lacey that's still slotted into third. I think it's Hill in fourth. Oh, we've gone completely off circuit. I think I'll give the position back to Coulthard for that. And we're, gonna, we're holding a Lacey up now. Oh, we've just forced a Lacey wide. In fact, it's allowed Hakkinen through. It wasn't even Hill. Engineer just commenting on how I lost the position. I mean, I just gave him the position because I exceeded track limits. I felt it was only fair. But now I've got quite a big gap to catch, though. To David Coulthard at the Pacific Grand Prix. I know it's a bit unrelated, but the Indian Circuit's actually not a bad track, is it? Okay, green flags, there must have been a crash behind. Seems like you can kind of gain through those few corners. In fact, the cars are very scared. There's only 10 cars left in the Grand Prix. I'm guessing there must be a realistic damage mod on. Either this mod comes with one, or I've accidentally left one on. Not 100% sure, because I usually do play with a realistic damage mod, so I could have very well left it on. Oh, that was a corner cut, but I was going for that bollard, and I know I've already lost my wheel, so let's make sure that I didn't hit the bollard. Hackenden is not going to let me have this easily, is he? Oh, we're just taking the same route we took last lap. Hopefully, we don't cut all the same corners we did last time. I'm really trying to catch up to Coulthard here. Seems like every time we do these videos, it's always uh, me and Coulthard battling. Or I think I've played as Coulthard a couple of times and uh, battled with Schumacher, so I won't do that. I don't want to have to give the position up to Hacken, and so I may as well just flush back it. Yeah, so I apologise, not too good with driving the old Ego engine sort of physics model. Not driven it for quite a while. Especially the uh, classic cars, I wasn't good at driving them in F1 2013 anyway. Uh, I mean, I would assume that I think these all have like their own custom handling, so won't be exactly obviously like Codemasters like versions of these cars or versions of you know the 90s cars, but it'll be somewhat similar. I would have thought. So David Cortos got a two second lead. We're not going to gain that on the last lap. Oh, we made made another mistake. We've gone off again. This car seems to slide quite a lot, so we're now going to have to just try and defend from Hacken and I think I've gone wide with the hairpin but it's a bit tactical to get good drive but I think I went a bit too wide but we've got some sit stream on Hacken now. Hacken's actually pulling away. I think I've lost some front end grip because I'm in a dirty air apparently. We're on a straight so it's not too bad. We'll go for it into this hairpin. Lock up. Gone wide that's not very Schumacher-esque but Hacken's well, Hackers took the lead. I think Coulthard's out of the race. I think Coulthard's just retired. I've missed that completely. Hacken has gone very slow. We're getting on the inside of Hacken and now. And Wendling is ca catching up. I don't know where he's come from, but he did the quickest lap and he's now closing up. So I think David Coulthard retired from that retired from the race. Did he have a mechanical or did he crash? That's a true question. Maybe it's hit the inside. Oh, no, Hakkinen, Hakkinen's gone. Hakkinen's gone. Wenlinger's going to win the race, I think. He's going around the outside in the Sauber. No, I've squoze him out a bit. I'm not sure why Hakkinen completely drove off the circuit. But he did. 
So we're coming through, we're going to win the Pacific Grand Prix. That came out of nowhere. I said that David Coulthard definitely had the win down. Turned out he didn't, so we're up towards the line. We've won with this F1 1995 mod. Definitely an excellent mod. That was a very enjoyable race. I recommend that you go download it and all the other mods that I've shown for this game on this channel. So it's eight cars finished in the end, and we were 32 seconds ahead of Dave, uh, not David Coulter, sorry, Eddie Irvine in the in the uh, Jordan. So I wonder what happened. I mean, I know a lot of people retired in the first one because there was a red flag, but uh, obviously, yeah. In fact, all the way up to like Herbert actually retired on the first lap. So unfortunately, Herbert retired. I wonder if Herbert and Hill came together perhaps because. They retired. In fact, actually, Herbert, Hill and Alacy were all battling, weren't they? So I think perhaps they may have come together. But we'll probably never know. We could check the race director, but I don't think it shows... No, it doesn't show the, um, the AI. We can see if Hill, Alacy and Herbert retired at around the same point. Okay, they all retired before they finished this... Well, Herbert retired before the end of Sector 1. Yeah, they all retired before the end of Sector 1 lap 2, so I'm guessing they probably came together at the hairpin. Because that seemed to be where there was a lot of crashes going on. Frenson had to do a pit stop. Quite a few drivers had to do a pit stop. But we won in the end. So I hope you enjoyed that race. I hope you enjoyed this mod preview. I will obviously be going back to doing MotoGP videos for the next one. But I thought that I'd cover this as it was such a good mod. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I've already said that. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Make sure to download this if you have F1 2014 on PC. Definitely worth it. And I shall see you in the next video.